Hello and thanks for joining us on Food From Farming. I'm in Washington, Illinois with Beth Hag. Beth, we talk about agriculture, but a lot of people don't understand and realize greenhouse is an actual crop. Now, when we talk about crops, we talk about corn, we talk about soybeans. Yes. You have a lot more variety than those two <laughs> cropping systems. Tell us about running a greenhouse and the different crops you have here. We're a second generation family owned and operated garden center and we grow four crops per season. And our crops look a little different. They comprise of things like these hanging baskets over our heads. We time out our crops so they come ready beginning of May. And then a second crop usually comes ready around Mother's Day. A third crop are typically around Memorial Day. And then we plant a fourth crop right after Mother's Day so that we have fresh baskets to sell through the summer months. Well, that is quite an undertaking. And as we talk about, agriculture is not only growing crops, but management. It's a big production. And we have a lot of different plant species all under one greenhouse. So everything from fertilization to lighting requirements, um, we have to know all the care and culture details. Now you have a bunch of specialists inside these um, greenhouses. An education in horticulture is important, but even more important is the continuing education. Um, going to the trade shows, staying up to date with the latest trends in the industry. There's a lot of science that goes into how we grow things. And I think keeping up on those trends in the industry is absolutely crucial for sharpening your occupational toolkit, so to speak. We are plant people and we have to be experts because we begin planting these crops around Valentine's Day. If you had to compare greenhouses as an agricultural crop compared to corn and soybeans, what could that look like and what would that be? So unlike traditional agricultural farming, which is most often a monoculture, we're dealing with a polyculture and sometimes multiple varieties all sharing the same bench space. Beth, thank you so much for sharing with us your passion and your profession here at the Washington Greenhouses. My pleasure. Remember who butters your bread and thank a farmer. I'm Sarah Michaels.